afternoon. Thanks for joining us Across the Fence. I'm Fran Stoddard. My guest today knows that getting things done is about good leadership from the grassroots on up. The Vermont Council on Rural Development is a unique organization with a mission to help Vermonters and our communities develop capacity to create a prosperous and sustainable future. Through small and large convenings, partnerships, leadership cultivation, and policy creation, VCRD is helping Vermont find our unique way forward in a complex and changing world. Executive Director Paul Costello joins us today to talk about his organization and what he's learned during his work with thousands of community-minded Vermonters. Welcome, Paul. It's Thank great. Thank you so much, It's Fran. so great to have you here. Well, it's wonderful of you to do it. Yeah, I love what you do. So, you know, many communities, of course, know the work of um, the Council on Rural Development, but there are a lot of people that don't know sure. who and what you are. So just a little bit about your history and what you do. Well, we're charged by the Farm Bill to help towns step up and get things done, and we work with towns all across the state. Um, but we also have a, a very thoughtful board of leaders in federal government positions, in congressional offices, in the governor's cabinet, in mm. business, in nonprofits, and local folks from select boards and so forth. And they, they look at the big pattern of, of community development and what's going on town to town around Vermont and what are the next steps, what are the next ways to boost prosperity to make uh, communities better places to live. Great. And then so how do you figure that out? How do you figure out what rural communities need and want? Well, we start with the towns. Um, we don't think we know better than the communities we serve. We think that it's all about local leadership. So a lot of our work is really... All over the state. Yeah. I mean, we, yeah, we right. go all over. <laughs> but we come into a community when we're invited mm -hmm. and we, we help the town figure out a strategy to invite the entire community together. And we ask big questions. We say, what do we stand for? What are the key challenges and opportunities in your town? Um, what, where do you want to go? What are the things you could do to make your town more dynamic, to attract young people, to make it an easier place for younger families to live, to, to spur economic innovation? You know, what's next for agriculture? What's, what's next for business development? And we don't think, you know, the federal government isn't coming into right. Richmond or Topsom with a platform for the future of these communities. And neither is the state of Vermont. No one can mm. do it for you. So our message is really line up together, think about what you stand for and what your opportunities are, and then you know, go from the, the 20 ideas in your problem statement, or the 20 ideas maybe someone else could do, to the five things or three things that if you did as a community in the next year, you'd be making progress. You'd be galvanizing together. You'd be um, setting up uh, some, some good work for the future of your economy. Right, so your, your work in, in very individual communities is, is known, but you also, just to kind of get a sense of what does our state need in general, mm -hmm. you've had like 21 summits and big convenings with mm -hmm. people trying to figure out, you know, what does the state in general need? Mm -hmm. So talk a little, just a little bit about those topics that you've had and how those have changed over the last 20 mm -hmm. years about what we need as a state. Well, the board put, we, we listen town to town and we hear towns that are looking at events or downtown redevelopment projects or water and sewer projects or agricultural networks. You know, we don't care. We listen to them and, and they lead. But, when we, but then we step back and we deliberate. We put up all the ideas that have come from communities on the wall and we say, what's the pattern? What's the trend? What are the big issues that people are facing? And then you, our, part of our job is to say, you know, we're like not political. We're not mm. Republicans or Democrats. We're, we're trying to think about the common good. And so we say, you know, where is there a place where we need to think across party lines, ac across the silos of state and federal government, to think about what we stand for as Vermonters to get bigger things done? So we've, we've built both policy councils and statewide summits on everything from the future of dairy uh, to agriculture development in general, to in-state energy development, uh, the, the, the uh, forest products industry, right. uh, the creative economy idea, how we boost our downtowns and, and celebrate the creativity of residents. Um, and, and so all those different ideas become, how do we move that forward? Who should we bring together? How can we convene to help set patterns uh, for the progress of those issues. And then you, you have policy councils that can, can, that can push some of those. So it's really from the, from the small to a, a bigger idea. This is what we've been hearing in the towns. So you come up with a bigger idea, explore that, and then go back That's to right. the small. That's yeah. right. I mean, there's collective wisdom. Everyone's kind of part of this Vermont story. And we, we listen to, to all kinds of people to try and get it right. 
So uh, let's just talk about some of those two very recent initiatives, Working Landscapes and the Climate Economy. Mm -hmm. So Working Landscapes, what's What's now happening on the ground? So that's been, over the last several years, that's been a focus of yours. Mm -hmm. what's, what's an example of what's happening? Well, we had a, a couple of summits. Then we built a policy council. We developed legislation with partners in the legislature to build the Working Landscape Investment uh, Fund and the Working Landscape Initiative, uh, led by the Secretary uh, Tebbets in Agriculture. Mm -hmm. And that uh, has built a, a fund to invest in creative entrepreneurism across the board in in the forest products arena and in, in agriculture. And it's investing in a small business that may be building an ice cream, like a dairy that's also gonna make right. ice cream or, or cheese. And we've seen dramatic expansion in, in cheeses and value added production in dairy. Um, but, or it may, it may invest in a, for, a new kind of forest products business. Um, it, a lot of larger businesses that are that are you know, expanding marketplaces for other farmers and setting up um, you know, sort of innovative ways to add value to products mm -hmm. have been expanded. And so um, I, I believe uh, over $5 million has been invested wow. in almost, uh, almost 50 different projects that right. have happened all around the state. Fantastic, and and sometimes it takes it. This is what we can. We've got some money. Here are some ideas. How can we support you and make them and make them all happen? Um, it, so another one is the climate economy. Mm -hmm. um, so what does that mean? Well, <laughs> and, and and what kinds of businesses and uh, and other things are involved with that? Yeah, I mean, for, for us, we we looked at that whole debate about climate and the fact that we we often um, we, we often look at it in terms of our own personal challenges or our, our, our deep concern for the environment and you know, these are good but but when we think about the climate issue we think about who solves problems like this and how are we going to ultimately solve this problem because you know all, uh, the, the environment and, and human humanity like we intersect in an economy mm -hmm. and so how do we look at how the economy works to actually answer climate change it's going to be the creativity of entrepreneurs and business leaders and people who invent things and people who um, build products, you know, the entrepreneurs build things that answer problems and that's why we pay them, right? That's right. why we buy those projects. And um, Vermonters are very creative. We and are. <laughs> and, and so we have this great, um, we have a great lot of stimulating businesses, you know, the solar companies, the, the battery storage mm -hmm. companies, our, our utilities, Green Mountain Power, the co-ops, um, are innovating really fast. They're looking at distributed generation. They're looking at the, the way that householders generate and use energy. We're seeing the electric cars coming into Vermont very rapidly and the governor signed a bill with $1.1 mm -hmm. million dollars for incentives for electric cars. So we're seeing a lot of progress. And for us, we, we've had a couple of major summits where we've had leaders from across the country in terms of uh, including some significant um, investors who've said that this may be the largest economic opportunity in world history, the transformation that's coming. Vermont is in competition with places all across the, the world, from Mumbai, India, to Cambridge, Massachusetts, where market share for creative processes that answer climate are taking place. And that's everything from recycling to clean energy development, to carbon sequestration, to good farm practices, um, to a smart grid development. And the more that we can do to be involved in those sectors, and as they grow, the better we're going to attract young people and dollars to re the renewal of the Vermont rural economy. So, you know, there's this thing where we pose answering climate change as against our economy. Let's figure out the way to use answering climate change to renew our economy and move forward and right. answer some of our rural some challenges. Some real money and some real jobs are, are, are there, much less helping with the climate. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna move on because you have a leadership summit. I'm That's right. talking about summits again, <laughs> yeah. coming up, and I wanna make sure to, uh, to address that before we finish. So last year you had a leadership ship summit. You are following up with yep. that again this year. Um, so why is, why, is that, why is that important? This is August 12th at okay. VTC yep. and it's last year we had 500 people together. You know for us 
it's all about local leadership. Like where, where does real change happen for rural communities? It's not coming from outside. It's those people who step up together and say, we need to build a, a stronger downtown organization. We need an economic development commission. We need to build a business incubation center in our downtown or a community center or a daycare center. What's the fundamental challenge that we have that if we line up together and get away from the 20 or 30 things and do two things this year, that will build tr dramatic momentum. And people step up, so in our process and all around the state, to, to us, these are our heroes in Vermont. These are sort of the people that become the fulcrum to engage others in their community and drive forward. Uh, so we're inviting them together. We, we want to learn more from them. We're having sessions where towns that are on the move and doing creative things are sharing ideas, but we're also having sessions for young leaders to talk for leaders representing the full diversity of Vermont to get together and share their experiences, for, for women who are stepping into right. leadership to share perspectives. And, so and real, anyone who really cares, I mean, people might get uh, intimidated by the term le leadership, but yeah, they're right there in In towns. democracy, we're all responsible yeah. to be leaders. We all have to step up. And so we'll have all sorts of people from all walks of life, and we're particularly interested in in having lots of young people with us. So we have right. so, some scholarships available. Great. And we're, we're glad to, to share that. Um, we, we have a website for this that yep. is uh, www.vtrural.org. And um, you can call us and we can talk about, about a scholarship if needed. Fantastic. Thank you so much. And, and will you come back to talk about communities? Well, we we'll really dive deep into what you're oh, doing I'd in love communities. To do that. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Great to be here. <laughs> we'll yeah. make sure to do that. 223 okay. 6091 if you're interested in that um, leadership conference. Thank you, Paul Costello from the Vermont uh, Council on Rural Development. Thanks so much, Fran. Great to and be here. And thank you for joining us on Across the Fence. I'm Fran Stoddard. Mm -hmm.